He gonna make something out of you though, man. He gonna make you something terrible. See what he will do with you, Israel. Okay, he's gonna make you a damn machine, man. You gonna be the most highest weapon, his secret weapon. A damn machine, man. All right? Esau making fucking robots. We gonna be the most highest robots, man. How about that? Watch. Watch it. You know? Wait to the Lord. Wait see what he gonna do with us. He gonna change us, man. We gonna be something terrible. Something in your fucking worst nightmare, nigga. Ezekiel 9. He cried also in mine ears with a loud voice, saying, Call to them that have charge over the city to draw near, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate which lieth toward the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. And one man among them was clothed with linen, with a writer's inkhorn by his side. And they went in, and stood beside the brazen altar, and the glory of the God of Israel was gone up from the cherub whereupon he was to the threshold of the house. And he called to the man clothed with linen which had the writer's inkhorn by his side. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh, and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city, and smite. Let not your eye spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. And he said unto them, Defile the house, and fill the courts with the slain. Go ye forth. And they went forth and slew in the city. Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord. We're the fishers. The game fell the apostle time down, man. We're the fishers. We're fishing and the bait is the Bible. We're fishing for the elect. Because we understand that this truth is only for the elect. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. Hey, didn't Yahusha tell Peter he will make him fishers of men? There you go. And after will I send for many hunters. So the fishes are going to turn into hunters. Pursuant to the scriptures, the Lord is going to give us spiritual power. Alright? And the fishes are going to be turned into hunters. And they shall hunt them from every mountain. That's you niggas. And Esau too. We ain't just you niggas. After we, you know what? After we're done with these niggas, we're going to go for you, Esau. We'll come for you. Because you're the ultimate nigga. And I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. So the Heavenly Father, He gonna give us spiritual power, man. That's the real power. Spiritual power is much more powerful than a gun, than a bomb or a tank. It's with spiritual power, you can go into the mind of somebody and really fuck them up. Oh yeah. He gonna make something out of you though, man. He gonna make you something terrible. See what he will do with you, Israel. Okay, he's gonna make you a damn machine, man. You're gonna be the most highest weapon, his secret weapon. A damn machine, man. Alright? Esau making fucking robots. We're gonna be the most highest robots, man. How about that? Watch. Watch. You know? Wait to the Lord. Wait to see what he gonna do with us. He gonna change us, man. We're gonna be something terrible. Something in your fucking worst nightmare, nigga.